who would have guessed it? Um, things have started off with a bang. 2020 was a <clears throat> was a mad year already, right? And I, I kind of think we all assumed 2021 will kind of start off a bit slow, especially with COVID and vaccines and all that stuff. It'd be a bit boring. We're going to just like, you know, slowly but surely crawl over the line in about a summer. If we just get back to normal, we can kind of get our lives back to normal. So piecing the pieces back together. But Jesus Christ, man. <clears throat> From the very beginning, right? Dr. Dre getting um, a brain aneurysm. And ba basically from all the stress he's going through with his divorce. And then you've got, you know, the Capitol building storming. And then off the back of that, you've got Trump putting out two videos, right? Apologizing and then not apologizing. And then suddenly his Twitter account gets suspended. They say, oh, you suspended it for time being. If you delete your videos, we're going to take it down. Then he puts out another tweet and they're like, no, 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 no. We can't have this anymore. And it just completely delete his account. It's mad, isn't it? You would never think that happened, actually. Like, I'd never fall, especially after the appearances um, that Jack Dorsey did on Twitter. Oh, no, Jack Dorsey appeared on Joe Rogan a few times. I think this might have been the occasion when he was on there with a the lawyer woman and he was, I don't know what it was off the back of. That might be when um, Alex Jones was banned around that time. And he gave the impression that they would never delete or suspend Donald Trump's account because it was within the public's interest to basically let him have an account that he could speak openly on and communicate with his fans because if they delete his account then where do you kind of draw the line in it that's kind of the feeling you've got when Jack Dorsey was on Joe Rogan then suddenly between then and now that that might have been what that might have been 2018 um, I think around that time between now and then things have changed so drastically and if we're completely honest, right, as much as, uh, you know, Trump can be a very divisive figure and he's, um, what you call it, he's not the easiest person to get along with, it seems like. Has he really changed that much since then to now? Has he really done anything that different? I think all the dog whistling and stuff to the, you know, white nationalist and all that malarkey, I think he was doing that before anyway. You know, people were reading too much into it at some points and then it was right at some points, you know, there is some truth to it. But I don't think he's necessarily changed that much since 2018 to 2020. So the honest reaction to the news of him getting his account permit suspended from Twitter would be, why wait now? If you were going to do it anyway, like, again, I don't agree with it because I don't think you should be suspending or banning the sitting president of any country. It's ridiculous, right? Um, Twitter is a public square. Um, it's where everybody basically gets involved with, you know, public discourse. And the moment you're deleted from that, ask Milo Yiannopoulos, you're completely eradicated from existence. It's like you don't matter anymore. Um, and I don't think that's fair. I think if that's the case, then, you know, those platforms should turn into a publishing platform and not a social media platform. I think everyone should be allowed to have their say. And if you deem them to be crazy, then people just leave the crazy people in the corner but this idea they can just like banish them for good is just insane it doesn't make any sense short-sighted and it's probably going to shoot them in the foot but if that's your decision if you think he's a risk he's an existential risk why not just ban him in 2018 why would you let all this damage um go on all this time is it because he was you know he, i assume the introduction of um, when Trump was elected, I'm assuming there's a, probably a direct correlation between when Trump was elected and when Twitter's stock went sky high because, you know, there was a time when Twitter was dying a bit and I'm sure the, re, you know, Trump coming back, Trump come, having the having the presidency during that time definitely gave them a little pep up their step. You know what I mean? So they probably obviously kept them on the platform to serve their own interest. It then backfired and now they're trying to act as if holy than thou. It's like, come on, man come on it's, it's it's a mad it's a mad mad situation um but again i i don't think he gave himself any favors i think he's i think trump's not been he's just i don't know how do you say it? um he, he sort of didn't give himself any favors did he he really didn't give himself any favors like he really went out of his way to annoy everybody and i think that's basically where he fucked up he should have been a little bit more no, there are the, the diplomatic, not diplomatic. I don't know. Like, if he honestly, like, honestly, like, because again, I don't, I don't, all this election fraud stuff, I think it's whatever, and it? it's, it's a, from the, from the looks of it and the outside looking at it, I'm not a politics guy, so don't come to me for politics talk, even though I'm talking about it right now. But from what I can understand, all this talk about um, election fraud seems to me, right, from my own silly point of view, it seems to be a little bit of a, of a no-goer right there's not much evidence to support it right at the moment there might be some evidence later on the line when he comes out of office i won't be surprised right in the same way that the 
the, the same way, like suddenly the the vaccine, the COVID vaccine, or the yeah, the the, the I'm sort of it's quite get banned from here, but the but the, the the same way the vaccine got approved suddenly, as soon as Joe Biden won, it will be no surprise if as soon as you know, um, Trump is out of office, you suddenly start getting. Don't be surprised if you start suddenly getting news articles confirming the fact that there was some sort of election fraud going on. Because you know, the, the, I don't believe it. It completely, it completely um, contributed to him losing the election. But also, don't believe it does not exist. I think it's somewhere in the middle. I just think he went about it the wrong way. I think if you're gonna try and prove election fraud, you have to deal with it in a more, I don't know, fact-based way. Maybe some proof, some evidence. But I think the fact that they went after him for that whole like Russia spying thing, right? the whole Russia gate. I think he really had a bee in his bonnet and he was like, all right, cool, watch. I'm going to get you guys back. And he went out, he went out hell for leather trying to get revenge on them by proving, see, if you call me a crook, you're a crook too. And it's like, yeah, but that's not necessarily, you know, and it just didn't work. It just kind of backfired, it feels like, on him. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's, just, it's a it's a weird place to be in. I just honestly think it's a weird place to be in. Um, I don't know, man. It's a weird place to be in. I'm going to start watching the Shit's Creek and I knew those guys would look familiar. <laughs> Big up, Eric. Yes, you know the vibes. You know the vibes, man. We, we are we are wearing the Shit's Creek's glasses. That's what they are. They were, these glasses were made actually famous by Kurt Cobain. But, you know, as much as culture has moved on, they're now being referred to as the Shit's Creek glasses. Um, what's this? Um, Dosh Pitt said there's wide scale fraud, man. Of course. Yeah, no, for sure. There's fraud everywhere, man. There's fraud in flipping um, Poundland shops and shit. Do you know what I mean? There's frauds everywhere. Like the, the people that are out there saying that um, fraud doesn't exist and, oh, no, he he just lost fair and square. It's like, nah, they can fraud whatever they want. And, I, and I'm pretty sure they, like, you can see from the reaction online, right? There's pe- um, um, f- uh, Thank you, Twitter was trending. Right? Thank you, Twitter. No, sorry. Thank you, Twitter was trending. Oh, you said no. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Thank you, Twitter was trending. So people are clearly, people clearly hate this guy with a, with a, with a, um, with a hatred that I've done not seen in years. This is really, really weird. Like they really hate him. So I'm sure, I'm sure if you hate somebody that much, you would go out of your way to do something. Now, again, do I think the scale of the, fraud was enough for him to lose an entire election i don't think so but it might have been enough to kind of upset the balance upset the scales but i also think he fl- he, he, he messed himself up do you know what I mean he spent the whole entire election prior right uh telling people not to do mail-in votes and then what happened covid right bad timing for him and then suddenly mail-in votes are super important and then the pe- his base are saying that mail-in votes are fraudulent it's like he shot himself in the foot in it in that one but what can you do but yeah so the major major news i guess on the back of that is this news here twitter permit suspends to trump's account absolutely nuts in it so it's from the bbc it says u.s president donald trump has been permanently suspended from twitter due to a risk of further incitement of violence the company said twitter said the decision was made after the close review of tweets from donald trump account and the context around them mr trump had earlier been blocked out of his account for 12 hours twitter warned that it would ban uh, mr trump permanently if he breached the platform again um, reciting the permanent ban trump's campaign advisor said disgusting if you don't think you've come from it so the 12 hour ban i think was because of those two videos right that he put out i know like oh if he if he deletes them then he's gonna be okay so i'm assuming he didn't delete them yeah behind the scenes like nah i'm not deleting that like i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna um i'm gonna keep keep that up so once that happened they were like all right cool you keep it up you're done i'm assuming so which is odd he continues he said also on friday google suspended parlor a self-styled free speech rival on twitter that is increasingly popular with trump supporters from its online store we are aware of the continued positioning of parlor and app and that seeks to create ongoing violence now that's the bit that i don't like cool you don't like the guy fair enough go after him delete him from the account but this censorship of tech platforms like all over this kind of um it looks like how would you say this uh this sort of like collusion that these tech platforms have it happened with alex jones the same thing right no one's excusing what he might have allegedly said about sandy hook but the fact that all the platforms saw like like dominoes decided to take him off their um all the all the sites took him off their platform at the same time was just weird 
and I don't think people make enough noise about it. Like, how can these people suddenly, because Trump gets banned from Twitter, why does that suddenly mean that Parler can get knocked off as well? That doesn't make any sense. And supposedly, um, app the Apple 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 Store has now put like a twenty four hour review on them or something. So if they don't change their terms and conditions, they're going to be removed from the Apple Store as well, which is essentially going to kill their business. They're gonna they're gonna completely cease to exist within what the space of forty eight hours if they don't you know um, buck up and kiss the ring. It's a, it's a madness, bro. It's honestly a madness. Like, I don't understand why people think censorship like this should be something to be applauded. Especially this wide scale, right? Where all these places are meant to be uh, private uh, platforms, right? P places that people make on their own. And then suddenly they're all in cahoots in terms of who can and cannot say certain things on certain platforms. I'm always of the adage, I always adopt the adage of like, if there's a crazy guy in a room, just let him be crazy in the corner. You don't have to go over and, and chuck them out of the window. That does nothing. That just incites violence. That just upsets the rhythm of the rave. Just let them, just let crazy people be crazy in the corner. I guarantee you, if, if you let people, if you let people get like, like Trump just fizzle out and burn and ignore him, it's all well and good. But now look, they're just going to be adding more petrol to the fire, right? They're going to go and try and indict him. They're going to go try and get him arrested, get him put in court, go after his family. It's like, that's, that's not the way to go. That's not how you kind of heal a nation. And again, that's the thing you have to remember too. As much as all those people that went to the Capitol building are complete idiots, right? They're complete dumb nuts. They've probably ruined their entire lives. Most of them have been fired from their jobs. Regular jobs too. A lot of people that have been, you know, that capital building storming. Just regular folk, right? Just trying to earn a living. Who are obviously feeling somewhat um, disenchanted with how things are going in the world. Especially in America. Now look at them. They've been completely left in the lurch. All those people that riled them up. Donald Trump, his sons, uh, Rudy Giuliani. All these people... They're going to be sitting cushy in their multi-million dollar mansions, their mech mansions, chilling with their partners, relaxing, having one of these little aperitifs probably that I'm having and just relaxing and enjoying life. No one's going to be reaching out to the people arrested. No one's going to pay for the funeral service of that young lady that passed away. So the ones that actually suffer are the ones that are on the ground. Do you know what I mean? Like as per usual mad in it it continues mr trump's twitter ban came on friday after he tweeted several messages on wednesday calling the people who stormed the u.s capitol patriots hundreds of his supporters entered the capitol building as u.s congress attempted to certify joe biden's um joe biden joe biden's victory in the presidential election the ensuing violence led to the deaths of four civilians and a police officer are you hearing this bruv five people died <laughs> off the back of these people you know riling up their base for what all of this rah rah stuff, right? And Joe Biden, Joe, B Joe Biden, Joe Biden, Joe Biden is still going to be president. Kamala Harris is still going to be vice. The squad are probably going to infest every part of politics in America. It did absolutely nothing. If anything, it, it drove a it drove more of a wedge between the entire country. Now people are even more divided than they were prior. Ah, and monumental fuck up monumental it continues the siege took place just hours after trump addressed the supporters and told them we will not we will never give up we will never concede well you are conceding now mate you're conceded on thursday facebook said it suspended to trump's indefinitely and the popular gaming platform twitch also placed an indefinite ban on our going president channel which has been used to rally broadcast so has snapchat so he's been banned from all social media platforms facebook is a big one yeah i'm assuming because you know a lot of his base will probably be on facebook twitch i'm probably i'm not sure a lot of people are you know tuning in to see trump play i don't know call of duty that's probably not going to happen in it so that i think he's okay with snapchat i don't know about that as well but he's been banned from every single platform do you know how insane that is <laughs> a sitting president that is absolutely wild it says yeah two online um trump memorabilia stores were closed this week but e-commerce shopify has even got him on friday reddit banned his donald trump forum for so he's he's, he's actually excommunicated from social media from the internet he's, he doesn't exist so he's got to set up his entire own website like alex jones style and just get what get it hosted on some russian server somewhere because i'm sure he's not gonna be able to use amazon web service for sure Mr. Trump, you used to to insult um, adversaries, cheer allies, fire officials, vent grievances, often using capital letters and exclamation marks. So basically, he was like all of us, right? He did. He used Twitter the same way me and you do, but he just forgot that he was the president. That's the one thing that flip flip that fucked him up, right? Because again, I'm not making excuses for a guy because I'm not really a, a fan of his communication style. But I think the one thing that messed him up, he didn't once, he didn't once, once try to be presidential. He just went about. Being the, he just went about the presidency the same way that he went about 
being a TV personality, a media figure. And I think that's what messed him up ultimately. If he would have went about it being a little bit, you know, if you would have, if if you would have used, because that's the thing that's disappointing too. From a, from I guess if you're a fan of his, right, is that you would imagine somebody like him coming in, a complete political outsider, right, somebody that no one expected was going to win, um, you know, not the most intelligent sounding guy in the world, a bit brass, a bit crass. You'd assume it'd be a great opportunity to come in and just like you know, make make a change, shake things up a little bit, um, change some things around, maybe sprinkle some of your celebrity stars or some things and see, see if it fixes things or come in with just a fresh outlook on situations, foreign affairs, like even the stuff he did with North Korea, right? As as that. Like, as like um pastis and you know performative as that was that was pretty cool to see that okay cool there was a world leader in north america who were like doing their thing you know but he just he just he just messed it up completely <laughs> he pissed off the he pissed off it seems like the majority of people even his own base right now you see all the republican guys turning on him and now look now look now look absolutely madness and now we see what's gonna happen, man. We'll see what's gonna happen going forward. But I don't know for for him personally. I I I wonder what he does next. What do you do next if you're him? Do you go and start your own media company? Do you lay low? Because he'll be fine in Hollywood. Because Hollywood loves a little bit of a train wreck, right? And he's good for rating. No, train wreck and ratings for sure. He'll be fine for ratings. He's gonna get. He's he's gonna get another chance at the limelight, right? Someone's gonna wanna turn him or his story into some sort of thing so i can see that happening um but i wonder but i think he will anyway it, well i think he will come back to the limelight especially when you see this so if he got banned of twitter obviously as you all know and then i guess he then he then decided to use his other account <laughs> the the potus account and tweet from there and then to shut that or shut down that one again um i think this is a screenshot here from this guy called josh wingrove this is from yeah trump returns on his potus account uh, so yeah, th th this is what he tweeted earlier. Absolute psychopath, isn't it? This guy, like, he's just running around trying to use other people's accounts. It'll be funny who have another account that says like, you know, nine 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 or something in the bit. But yeah, this is what he said when he came back. As I've been saying for a long time, Twitter is going further and further, banning free speech. And tonight, Twitter employees have coordinated Democrats and radical left in removing my account from their platform to silence me and you the 75 million great patriots who voted for me twitter may be a private company but without the government gift of section 230 they would not exist for so long i predicted this would happen we have been negotiating with various other sites and we'll have a big announcement soon uh while also look out at the possibilities of building our, our own platform in the near future we will not be silenced twitter is not about free speech they will be about it, they're, they're all about promoting radical left platform there will be some what uh, a platform where some of the most vicious people in the world are allowed to speak freely stay tuned the issue i have with this as well with this guy right he's an absolute joke because he had four years to make the changes necessary so that places like twitter and facebook and all those kind of places couldn't decide to just silence people because they didn't like what they had to say he had four years to do that and he didn't do nothing right he enjoyed I guess the luxuries of being a president flying in that helicopter to his flipping golf courses, saying mad thing on Twitter and knowing he's never going to, because I think that's what he, he thinks. He started feeling himself. He thought he was untouchable. He thought he could never get banned. And then suddenly he lost the election, which kind of gave him that fear of that cloak of invisibility kind of got pulled off of him and he got exposed. And now he's trying to talk about, oh, we're going to build another site. Who cares, man? But the, but the issue is if you're an American, isn't it? Like, half of your country are like what are proper disenfranchised now so you tell me half of the of america is going to be on some other platform talking mad smack about the other side it's going to be like this is going to be this might end up being one of those things where it might have happened before i'm not sure if it happened it, might, it must have happened in america it's happened here in the uk too this might be a situation for t i can't i'm foreshadowing that maybe you might see a thing where there'll be a two-term each party, uh, yeah, there'll be, there'll, there'll be, each party will be in the office of the president for two terms. That might happen because the country's so divided. So, you know, if the Democrats do well in this four years, then they'll probably get another four. Then after that, of course, they're going to have to concede and then someone's going to have to come in and it's going to be the Republicans. If they do well, they'll get another four because it's so divided. There'll be no chance to kind of, I don't, I, I don't anticipate there being people 
deciding to change allegiances and vote for a Democrat in the next election. I don't see it because the wedge is the wedge is just too far. People are so split. But then again, I don't know. Who knows, isn't it? Maybe some Republicans will say, oh, no, he doesn't really represent me. Because, you know, for sure, there's no Democrats out there that like him, right? That think anything he did was right because, you know, that he's just completely pissed him off. But I don't know, man. I don't know. This is this doesn't seem like the right way to go about things. You would imagine there'd be another way to kind of make it work. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Who's this UK equivalent of Tucker House? <laughs> you're calling me a uk tucker carlson how am i I'd, I'd love to be a uk tucker carlson isn't he like the, the isn't tucker carlson's pair aren't tucker carlson's parents like ice cream people or something i don't know um i'm not sure i'm saying imagine that it was one what else you're saying in the chat here lucas look here did trump try to release the pmcs from the blackwater private ministry company involved oh yeah 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 true yeah jason diaz um that um, pardoning those people from Blackwater was one of the most blatant misuses of power that I've ever seen in my entire life. If that's not evidence of like some foreign government of being at play here, I don't think what is, man. That was insane. I was like, what? You pardon guys from Blackwater? All right, cool. You are way beyond the pale, mate. And then Jason says here, QAnon supporters are now realizing that there is no Kraken that's gotten released. And now they are asking questions and posing videos of where are the next orders from Q. <laughs> yeah, the QAnon people are lost though, innit? They're just like, they're beyond the pale. Those are not people you can kind of really have rational conversations with. You know what I mean? Like they are way, way, way too far gone. And pe people like that is not rescuing. You just have to kind of let them do their thing they're clueless now they're waking up yeah of course but, but it's too late to wake up now like things have things have gone too far i don't think they can ever wake up i think once you start believing those things again is there is there a conspiracy yes is there do conspiracy exist of course they do but to a level that those curing on people think of course not but i think once you start believing in that stuff and you're going down that rabbit hole it's pretty impossible for you to pull yourself back in again i just don't think it's happening you're always going to be that person unfortunately it's just the nature of the beast isn't it it really is just the nature of the beast. Um, what else do we have here? Let's get this off the screen. Let's move on. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, it's, it, it really is an unfortunate situation all in. But I, feel, but I thought this quote here was quite funny. This was a pretty accurate quote. This is a screenshot, I'm assuming, from 4chan. And it says the following. Uh... So can you see on the screen imagine the better part of the last imagine spending the better part of the last five years having your brain and ego melted by the uninterrupted um ex political talk exposure on 4chan flying to washington in the middle of a pandemic to hear trump whine about oprah and mike pence at a rally marching up to congress on these orders to smash shit and then mill around aimlessly you go home you hear that biden won anyway and all of your favorite tweet news sources named like patriot newsmen of the west with avatars of roman statues have posted your photo online and are labeling you a quote-unquote gay communist antifa actor then the next day the god emperor who pasted um into the warhammer so you post you paste into the warhammer memes uh, puts out a video cucking himself and bending the knee I'm sorry, there's a heinous axe. Please let me tweet back again, Jack. <laughs> you can't leave DC because the airlines have dubbed you a flight risk. You can't stay because the cops actively looking for you after one of their own died. And your roommate at the only hotel that would accept you is a guy named Bas uh, Base Kekistan 1418, who, was, who wants to show you his goblin slayer torrents. The sun is going down and you're getting cold. That is such an accurate <laughs> logical summation of the of the last day's events, isn't it? Like those guys have got if there if there ever was a scam, if there was a great plan, um, those guys basically fell for it hook line, hook line and sinker. They all went up traversing the side of buildings only to get smashed completely down and left in a complete lurch, isn't it? An absolute shit show of a situation, man. Like absolute shit show. And then I guess I got what have I got here? I got some videos here of actually are some of the more <laughs> hilarious ones <laughs> this one was hilarious this guy gets asked the question <laughs> and look at his response this is meant to be a parody but obviously you know the, there's nothing there's no greater parody than actual reality so here what this guy has to say let's get the volume down a little bit let's put this up mm. i'm here on january 6th in the biggest gathering of losers in washington dc in a long long time here's one I really hope this is real, by the way. I hope it's real. Tell me if this is real in the chat. What do you think? Now. I'm going to have you take one of me. Yes, sir. What would you say to Donald Trump if you were talking to him right now? 
I'd say you're the greatest president of our lifetime, and I'm 65, and I've seen a lot going on that is so false and fraudulent, it sickens me, and I will die standing in my boots as a patriot for this country. If this goes wrong, it's not going to be good. There you have there it. There you have it. I'm here on Honestly, I swear to God, I wouldn't even cry that much if my dog died. Legitimately. Maybe if I lost my passport on the way to a really big holiday. That might elicit some sort of tears. But who cries like that for politics? Like, who who are these people? Someone please tell me, who are these people? Do these, Are these people real? Are they real humans? Like, <laughs> absolutely insane i will stand here in my boots it's like what bruv go look after your children man